My name is Chef Claudette Cepeda. I am a chef based out of San Diego, California. Well, my chef background is kind of a roller coaster. I uh, have been cooking professionally for 22 years, but have grown up my entire life in restaurants, between my aunt's restaurant in Guadalajara, my parents' restaurants throughout Tijuana. Because I am a Mexican-American kid, um, but having grown up in Mexico, it's this really in-between life that I've lived. For me, my cuisine um, is definitely touched by that fact that I was um, a kid that had a foot in each country, that had so many different influences, faces, languages, um, and I could really be a chameleon wherever I landed. Why Australia? Why not Australia? I, am, I come from a place of yes, and when my friend said we're opening a taco shop in Sydney and we're gonna do it right and we're gonna do matcha and we're gonna do you know salsas. The first thing, my first response was I want in. Uh, Taqueria Cepeda is definitely inspired by the border region. It's inspired by the Tijuana flavors. It's inspired by the heat that we bring. It's inspired by the acidity and the personalities. And the first response to I want to put a lengua taco was, me, I don't know how that's gonna fly. And we sell just as much of the beef tongue as the beef skirt. So that's um, indicative of how good you cook it, obviously. It's telling you that we're cooking it right. It's telling you that we have people that are willing to try it. And then that is opening up that beautiful Pandora's box of what else can we do to make people kind of go out of their comfort zone. Every culture, no matter where you're at in the world, everyone knows Mexico as a taco culture. Most expats and most tourists go to Mexico City or they go to any part and they're eating the trompo. They're eating the al pastor. But the asada, I think, is the, like, and all be all. If your carne asada taco is good, you can rest your laurels on the fact that that one's okay, and then you can get adventures with the other flavors. I chose the meat tacos were kind of like the no-brainers. The asada, the castacan, which is more of the southern region, and we have the vegetable, the potato, we have the rajas with cheese, the beef tongue, was also, that's what we grew up eating. You can have that same beef tongue on a tostada, on a taco, on a sandwich. It cuts so many different ways and that's another part of our culture is we'll, do, we'll give you one protein, but you can actually eat it a hundred different ways. So for me, the carne asada taco, the beef tongue taco are the two big like, like this is my flag in Australia tacos. It's kind of like the, the mainstays that will always be on the menu. What makes a perfect taco? When you have a beautiful canvas of a good tortilla and a killer salsa, I think that's the making of a good taco. The first step is making a really good salsa, and every taco has their salsa because the flavors pair well with it. So our tortilla, we use the Macienda non-GMO blue corn. It's really like pretty low intervention cooking because it doesn't. the ingredients speak for themselves. Instead of people coming to us and changing how they eat, now we're going out and changing how everyone else eats by bringing Mexico to them. There's really no stopping what taqueria cepeda could be or could grow into. It starts as a taqueria and it ends as a fonda, you know, with full bar, ambiance, good music. I mean, it's really the recipe for a perfect night, in my opinion. <laughs>